Hello guys, it's George here from the iPhonePress.com and today's video is going to be solving a problem with the question of why is my firmware for iPhone or iPod Touch downloading as a folder? Now many many people have this um, problem and I did also and it took me a very very long time to uh, figure out why actually why I was doing that and um, it wasted a lot of time but um, the uh, outcome was uh, very helpful so if I just go over to Safari and um, let me just look in my history and let's just go over to this iPhone um, or iPod firmware downloading uh, site and let me just download any random firmware and click download so I'm not sure what this is, it's 1.1.1 for iPhone now as you can see Safari has also um, already started downloading it as a zip folder as soon as you see this you want to stop so um, stop downloading okay this is not right it should be as to be downloading as an IPSW so the reason to uh, why this is doing it is because Safari doesn't recognize um, the firmware and uh, therefore downloads it as a zip folder um, let's try and uh, going to a different browser this time and this time we're going to be using Firefox and uh, if I type in the same URL and click enter and this time download the same firmware so that was iPhone 1.1.1 same site as I said and there we go 1.1.1 for iPhone and click download and this time as you can see it um, has the uh, iTunes logo and that is the first um, sign that you will notice that means that it is downloading correctly so let's go and say save file OK and just hit the desktop and save and here we go look as you can see I have many other firmwares in here this is where I download all my firmwares from Firefox um, I would recommend you do use Firefox for downloading firmwares there may be other browsers but by far I think I'm pretty sure Firefox is the best and um, yep as you can see it has been downloading as an IPSW iPod software file and um, so I don't need to download this because um, it's out of date but uh, that is how you solve the problem of um, your uh, firmware downloading as a folder so I hope you, this video has helped and uh, please make sure to subscribe and um, yeah I'll see you in another video okay thanks for watching see ya a simple answer to this video is when downloading firmwares for iPhone or iPod Touch always use the Firefox browser and a link will be in the description on the right.